Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Tips and Tricks. My name is Rudy. As you can see, I'm here on my YouTube channel. And what I'm going to share with you today is uh, an awesome program. And I think a lot of us have felt a need for an awesome program to keep our password safe, you know, safely, right? So I have gotten an awesome program here for you guys. So let's have a take a look at it and let's go through some of the options that it has and some of the goodies and all that stuff. So let's dive right into it. So this is what it's called. E-N-P-A-S-S. -S. I can never pronounce it correctly, but uh, uh, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I've been using it for a long time on my uh, iPhone for a good probably two, three years probably. And uh, I just recently went on their actual website. I never actually went on their website, but I just discovered that you can actually use it on multiple, multiple devices. As far as uh, iPhone, iOS, or, you know, tablet or whatever goes, you can use it on Android. You can even use it on BlackBerry or even on a Windows phone. Not only can you use it on all these phones, you can actually use it on laptops, computers, whatever you want to call it. You can even use it on a Mac, PC, Linux. Uh, even on a Chromebook, uh, I don't know what portable, I guess you can even have it on a portable stick if you like, you know. And the good thing about it is that it's actually free. It actually is free, look at that. As long as you're using it on a on a PC or even on a phone, it's for free. Uh, there are limitations to uh, if you're using it on a phone. For instance, I don't know what the Android has for limitations or any of them. But uh, since I've only been using uh, the iPhone, I'm going to give you the iPhone version, I guess I could say. But if we take a look at their pricing for the mobile devices, uh, on the mobile, if you uh, use the free version, you can only store up to 20 devices. I mean, uh, 20 passwords and usernames, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, if you pay a one-time fee of uh, basically 10 bucks, you got lifetime license. There are no restrictions. And if you want to use it on a desktop, any kind, Mac or Windows or Linux, whatever you want to call it, it's basically for free. So let's take a look at the program. I already got it open here. I just got to re-log in. So let's go ahead and log into this program. And I'll give you a take a look on what it looks like. So there we go. So because I have 53 items saved in here already, I have uh, kind of hidden it in there so you can't really see it. But let's say you want to go ahead and hit the uh, new plus button here. Then you can either create a new folder if you want to create a login information. So let's say you, uh, you are like me. You have multiple websites, let's say Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. You can save all of this in here. And, and, and it's a good idea to keep different passwords for different items, right? Let's say for you want to have one password for Facebook and you want to have one password for Instagram, for instance, then uh, you can do that, right? And uh, right here, let's say you want to, if you have Facebook, you know, you can say whatever, right? So if, let's say Facebook and uh, you can use whatever, right? And, uh, and then you can enter your username and email address and all that good stuff and the thing that I really like about this program is it actually tells you if you're using a strong password or not and that's very important to me because I like to use a strong password so let's just go ahead and type in a few random letters in here you see right away it comes up as as a weak password well you know more letters or numbers or whatever you go the better indication you're gonna get you can actually get it to show you and I just use you whatever random letters right and then you can actually have the URL saved in here as well. And you can even have security uh, questions uh, and answers right in here, right? So that way if you, you know, a lot of these websites nowadays, they ask you for security questions. Well, if you're anything like me, I forget my security questions and <laughs> answers, you know. So I hardly ever remember. So this is a great way to save that. And you can always look it up. And you can even write a little note if you like. And uh, some of the other things I was going to show you. Here, if you go under tools, you can even uh, have a password generator. So you can actually uh, 
if you don't know what a strong password is you can say how long you want your password to be and then you can get it to generate a password for you and I guess you can obviously save that but I was also going to show you the settings in here if you go under the settings uh, say under security here is where you can change your obviously your password or under here you can uh, say a lock lock the program after 30 seconds you can choose whichever you like and you can also if you you know copy the password to a clipboard basically if you right click and copy it it will only stay on a clipboard for 30 seconds and it will hide the sensitive items like for instance passwords and stuff like that not only does it have that it has also a sync option and what that means is that you can actually back these items up and if you're using an iPhone for instance you can back it up to iCloud or you can use Dropbox I mean Dropbox has become fairly popular uh, lately and that's what I'm using right now I mean I'm using iCloud as well but because I'm using this on a desktop version right now I use uh, Dropbox to uh, have a backup of it right or it will sync it automatically right or you can even uh, back it up right onto your onto your desktop if you would like to you know you can see it has made a backup here and I got 53 items in there and all that good stuff so uh, now if you uh, you know used it on your mobile device and uh, you have just recently installed this on your PC let's say you can easily go ahead and get them save files from your iCloud that because I told you I use iCloud right so then I go under iCloud.com log in with my Apple ID obviously then I go under iCloud Drive and then oh some my reason is taking a little longer but uh, yeah then you can see the folder right here and then you have the file right here so then you can go ahead and download it onto your PC and save it wherever you like I just like to save it on the desktop and you can do the same thing with uh, with Dropbox you go ahead and log into your Dropbox account and then you go under apps and then you go under uh, under this program and you can basically uh, share or whatever you would like to do uh, I guess the best way to do it is I guess to click on there and then you can download it or you can uh, whenever it's highlighted you can actually hit the download button right there and it will give you the option to download it but because I already did it through iCloud I don't need it again right so let me show you see I was only logged out for a few seconds and it already logged me out so let's go ahead and log back in and I'll show you how you can go about uh, uh, oops I used the wrong password here make sure I use the right password right <laughs> yeah anyways this is how you go about uh, restoring it let's say if you know you, you this is the first time you're using it on your PC and you really like to have it on your PC because you know sometimes you go on your PC and you want to log into to websites and stuff and if you have that saved on this program you can actually access it right from in your PC say if your phone is dead or you don't have it handy right away you know you can go ahead and click on the backup option there and we saved it under under our desktop right so then you go ahead and click on that and it will actually import the uh, file from the backup uh, that we had created through our phone through iCloud right uh, obviously I'm not going to be doing that right now because I already have them in my in my program here but I just wanted to show you that's how you can do that either either restore or backup whatever way you want to do it right so it's an easy way on how you can you can do this I, I really like it because it has multiple options in here like for instance login you can even save credit cards financial computer license whatever you can even secure notes in here uh, whatever you know and uh, I, I just had a really good experience with this app I've never had any issues with it uh, never been any problems with anybody been able to hack into the program it's really good the only thing is if you ever forget your password uh, you cannot reset it uh, then you lose all your content and uh, whenever you import it into this program as well it's also going to ask you for your master password so make sure you never forget that obviously right 
But anyways, I hope I have been able to explain this program really good to you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do because I really like to keep my password safe. And I'm sure most of you guys would like to keep your password safe. I mean, it's never 100% guaranteed, but this way, if you close it, as soon as you reopen it, you have to enter the password. So it's it's very easily uh, safe on your on your desktop because unless the person knows your password to it, they can't access it. And, and to me, it's a great way to keep my uh, password safe. So anyways, it's been Rudy here from Tech Tips and Tricks. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.